The medieval atmosphere of ancient cloisters is distinctively English, and like so many things old and institutional, liable to decay. Chichester Cathedral, for instance, is falling down, or it was. What looks like a demolition team is not helping the sacrilege, but performing a steel-helmeted mercy mission. 20th century know-how, in the shape of a reinforced concrete corset to buttress the buttresses, is putting right a mistake the Normans made. Ever since it was built, Holy Trinity has suffered the indignities of collapse. The central spire fell down as late as 1861. The stonework of old buildings has always crumbled and been replaced over the centuries. But today's stonemasons know something their medieval workmates didn't. Had the foundations been dug a couple of feet deeper through the spongy clay the cathedral now rests in to solid rock below, none of this need have happened. Now there's so much work to do, the young apprentices here will be kept busy for the rest of their lives. Glass is a more obvious casualty, having to contend with not only the shattering effects of subsidence, but the post-Reformation zeal of those who thought pictorial representations of religious themes were corrupting and idolatrous. Harold Shepherd, the cathedral's glass artist, is concerned with restoring as much of the medieval imagery as possible. Luckily, Mr. Shepherd's work will soon be done. For the rest, restoration is long, and if it's to be done properly, spectacularly expensive. Five shillings every four minutes for the next ten years. <laughs> <laughs> 